In this Photoshop design tutorial, we're going to create two new shapes in Photoshop. So hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I want to teach you guys how to create these two cool shapes here in the top that we've also used again in our hipster logo tutorial. Now let's get right away into it. First of all that I want to do is basically zoom in a little bit and as well also going to replicate again these shapes here from my previous design. Now if you guys want to maybe download my JPEG file or again the thumbnail file here and you guys can also replicate again my shapes here or if you want to go ahead and have a look in the description down below and you can actually purchase for ten dollars my complete shape library. Okay so what I want to do is first of all click and create a new empty layer here so I'm just starting out with scratch and I'm also going to work without guidelines today. So if you want to work a bit with guidelines, these you can find under view and new guide over here. And you can literally create a new guide with a positioning here or again with the move tool, just move it into the position that you want to place it on the anchors on the corners and then you just place anchor points all the way out. I'm going to do it freehand and let's get started. So first of all, anchor point over here, here, and again, making a nice big path here. Also, if you're completely new to the pen tool, have a look on the channel. I've created another tutorial teaching you how to work with the pen tool. I'm going to hold Alt now while I'm in the pen tool, just taking the anchor point here. Keep on holding Alt and position it into this direction. So the new path will go up, anchor point over here. And again, completing the path, but keep on holding. And again, trying to make the really nice arch with that path again dropping that great so we already have that for the outside now we're still in the pen mode I'm going to click another anchor point of here 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 and here completing it again so again another patch over here I'm going to do the same process on the right hand side again and I'm doing it super quickly take a bit more time when you do this and completing it. So over here we have now completed the complete stripe over here. Now next step that I want to do is going to hit right click and say define custom shape. Now if your define custom shape uh, option here is blended out, please have a look again on the channel. I've created another tutorial teaching you how to get that problem out of your way. So I'm basically going to say define custom shape over here. Um, it's going to ask you what name do you want to put there. I'm going to say maybe actually shape 162 and hit OK. And right away you have now saved this successfully in your shape library. So if you're going to press U on the keyboard and actually go back to the top here, you are now in your custom shape tool. You can go back to the shape library here and over here you will see you have just created this shape in your shape library. So now I can select it and obviously I can hold shift or whatever I want to do with it, maybe zoom out a bit, hold shift and I can now make this shape over here. Great, so as you guys can see, there we go, we have exactly the same shape. If these outlines are irritating you, just literally hit Command, Shift and H all together and you can hide them so you can work a little bit better with this. Also, I'm working with a Mac, so that's why I said Command. If you use a PC, please press Control when I say Command. Great, so let's also head back to the top this is super easy to replicate as well. Also, if you have any other designs that you found in the internet and you want to maybe replicate them or create them in the same way, try this method as I use. Copy the JPEG image, put it into Photoshop and then take your pen tool again and on the new layer maybe, just again with a few paths here, sorry, a few guidelines, you can again put guidelines all the way on the anchor points. So basically every corner, I'm doing it freehand again literally an anchor point over here and first of all you're going to go all the way around on the outlines okay like so all the way around so we first of all creating the outer shape again completing the path so now we have again just the normal path so if you're going to hit right click now and say define custom shape you will see the inside is missing so hit cancel and also going to create the inside here so again keep on with the pen tool another anchor point, another anchor point, and you're just continuing and replicating this. Also, if you did a mistake, you can either press Command Z to just go a step back 
or hit the last anchor point and hit delete and that will delete the last anchor point. You guys can also find more about the pen tool obviously again in that pen tool tutorial on the main channel. Okay, I'm going to go and continue that all the way. I'm doing it also a little bit quicker so you guys don't need to sit here for hours and watch me do it. Okay, but you guys get the point. Try to be careful with this and once you are done you can always hit command this means control for the Windows people and you can literally just move with command, keep on holding command, you can move these anchor points into the right position again if you didn't do it so properly. Say for instance as I did over here, you didn't do it so nice, I'm going to keep holding command, take that anchor point, place it into the right position and I'm re-perfecting actually my whole shape here. Okay, again with the pen tool, hit right click, define custom shape, and again, this is shape 163, you can also call it mountain, whatever. I'm going to hit OK. Now escape while I'm still in the pen tool. And literally, again, back to the custom shape tool. And let's maybe zoom out a little bit. I'm going to also go back to the custom shape tool, back to the shape library here in the top. And as well over here, we have the mountain again. So holding shift on the keyboard again allows me to stretch it evenly and then also place it over here. Again, Command Shift H, hiding the outlines. You can also double click on here, change the color again. And this means we have completely created a new shape over here. So remember again, if you want to have all of these shapes from me, you can also get them in the description for only $10. You can download my whole shape library there again. So yeah, that was a quick tutorial teaching you guys how to create these two different shapes. If you liked it, don't forget to hit me up there with a thumbs up. Share it with all your buddies who are new to this and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.